Hello, good morning. It's easy blessings. Welcome back to my channel. And today we just want to practice some realization techniques. So as you know, I've been talking to us about mindfulness. If mind matters, you need to find a space, a natural space where you can relax. So we're just going to start this morning up with uh, breathing exercises. Just take your deep breath and out. Once, once again, deep breath and out. You can breathe in, into your lungs. That's the proper way uh, of breathing. Most times we'll just uh, um, breathe in. You find your shoulder rising. That's the wrong uh, channel of breathing. The right way is to breathe into your lungs. When I just breathe in right now, observe to see that there is no um, movement on my shoulders because the air flows into my lungs, right? It flows into my diaphragm. When the diaphragm expands, the air is, is going into there. Once you're able to do this, you find um, realization on your mind and it's happening all over your body. So breathe in. out i just read it out through my um my mouth just i just exhale some hair some air so you can see doing that can help you relax a bit can help you to calm your mind so that's for breathing exercise so then another thing that i do is um journaling you must take time to journal a lot you can see i'm with my pen write down things a lot journaling take your journal time very seriously relax and feel at home with yourself feel at peace with the skies with the natural natural environment you can see i'm around green vegetation and um i journal a lot in that cool atmosphere like today it's, the day is not very bright it's very it's in the morning and it seems as if uh, is about to rain so the weather is not very cheered up enjoy that weather enjoy that um, moment of your life enjoy a uh, however the uh, the atmosphere is however the weather is don't let it um, make you don't let it um, um, stress you out no you don't have to allow uh, any kind of stress at all your way so um I've talked about reading exercises. Two, I talked about uh, journaling. Three, I talked about being in nature, enjoying the, the natural habitation. And um, number four is taking walks. It helps a lot. Take a long walk and make sure you are taking it um, within your own pace. Slowly, gently, um, bringing your emotion into accountability, understanding how you're feeling that moment. So it's very key to take walks, move around, move around, you know, talk about things in your mind. It helps. It goes a long way. So let's do that. Let's practice these tips. It will help your, your mind to, um, to calm down, to relax, to... Um, to be able to focus on other things other areas of your life now that um, you're going through a particular emotion and that you find out that you cannot even concentrate on anything else no you should be able to concentrate put your mind together always your mind matters your mind matters and it is it is from your mind that you can release that power to achieve that power to create new things that power to move uh, higher okay so that is important so are there stressors in your life are there things that are trying to weigh you down are there particular people that are criticizing that are um, leading you to depression that are making you sad uh, on purpose um, purposefully um, um, trying to get you down always trying to make you reactive always always on your nerves always trying to push you down let it go let stressors go try your best to um don't take it in don't take the things that are happening in 
And what I mean by taking it in is that you now personalize it. You now begin to say, uh, uh, why? Why is this happening to me? Um, you now begin to put yourself in a dark corner. That's why what I, I always call it because you don't, um, um, you don't relax again. You are not able to focus again. You're feeling frustrated. You may even start nagging and you begin, you find out that you begin to let those uh, negative emotions weigh you down again no do not let it don't let your stressors get you down you are always in control you know there was a video i did and i said that you cannot say that someone provoked you to do something no why because you are always in control so always take charge and remember that you are in control of your own mind of your own mental health so stay in control stay in charge stay put don't allow yourself to be in that dark corner that I call it. <laughs> let me just end with this scripture. Many of us might, might have had it, but let me just say it again that the Bible says that you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid. So you are the light. So put yourself on the spotlight. Put yourself um, on a hill. You say that means it means come out, come out of that um, dark corner. <laughs> then you maybe you stay, sit down, then you'll be thinking and overthinking, or you may now be reacting and showing some negative emotion. Come out of that that corner and go to the light. Go to the light. You are the light of the world. So shine, shine, shine. You know. You see, again, nobody's going to do that for you. You are the one to shine. If God said that you are light, so go ahead and shine. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you once again to like come your way now. I hope this tips works for you. Let me know in the comment. It's a goodbye from me to you. So be your best self today. Live your best life. God is with you, and I'm rooting for you. Best of luck. Bye-bye.